Hello. Um, I guess mm, this may be the last one. The last area, I suppose. I don't know, maybe there's another one, but uh, it looks totally different. So, oh, we're going to start here. Okay. Good. Okay. So, maybe, I suppose, this is the last uh, part. Hmm. So close, but yet so far. I could have tried the prior with an open. These things maybe didn't have a lot. Hmm. We did it here because it's a metal as, as, uh, asylum, yeah. It, uh, it has another lock or something, but... Yeah, this does look like the last part. I forgot that the camera is broken. <laughs> okay, um... <laughs> you left? Uh, okay. That is not nice. Not nice at all. Huh? Maybe. Uh, oof. Night vision is so useful here. <laughs> okay. Uh, is this rock? This looks like concrete, but is this just rock? Like a hole in the ground, or what is this? It looks like plastic. Okay. Um. Uh. Okay, so you do have something to say about this. Under the mountain. Whoever finds my corpse, trust no one and tell everyone. I am not crazy. I know, I know. Only crazy people say that. But as I, I am as sane as this world allows, with a camera full of evidence. Don't call it a gospel. Call it a mockery of reason. Let the world know it is Morgoth's Murgos, fault. Bury these bastards with my mutilated dead body. Well, yeah, I, th I think we are getting a little bit crazy. I would too, not gonna lie. Miles, uh... Are you called Miles? Did really a lot more than I would ever have. Um, okay, there's a thing here. Mm -hmm. Pride? The pride of wisdom. From the personal records of Dr. Wernicke. Frankenstein or the Modern Prometheus by Mary Shelley. Published anonymously in 1818. Chapter 23, excerpt. Man, I cried, how ignorant art thou, art thou in thy pride of wisdom. Cease, you know not what it is you say. I broke from their house angry and disturbed, and retired to meditate on some other mode of action. Okay, so the personal records of Wernicke. Uh, Wernicke. I've been pronouncing that wrong. It wasn't until the... Um, was it the cinema? Or something that uh, someone was saying something that were Warniki? And I realized I was pronouncing it wrong. I just record everything. Huh? Mm, no, please no. Uh, please allergies don't start. It's too early in the day for that. Okay. Oh, so I have to use... Okay. I thought it was going to be a little bit more light up. I cannot see anything. Okay. Um, huh? Okay. A block. Okay. Let's see what this one has in store for... Oh yeah, I forgot I can make like with footprints. Was it? Yay. Oh. 
think. Mm, that's not a door. That is a door. Is it not? I cannot open it, I think. Doesn't give me the prompt to do that. Okay. Okay. Oh, my phone is not in silent. There we go. Okay. In here. Nothing? Can you give me a battery or something? Anything? Hmm. They come from there. I'm hearing something in the distance. There's a document on the table, I think. Oh, let me scout for batteries. Okay. Document. Variant postmortem. Project War Rider. Postmortem pre preparatory report. MM1 300921. From note. All material herein are herein to be transcribed and revised to fit legally binding requirements of Markov Corp. Records. See from form uh, 4083 author Jennifer Roland. Notes. My 14th autopsy of a wall rider patient and showing no more signs of accepting the therapy than any of the others. There have been slight gains in cell migration and morphogenesis, including effects similar to human growth hormone, but nothing to suggest the stable creation of a sentient independent form. A what? The creation of a sentient independent swarm. Okay. So tired. Don't do my judgment. We'll submit another request for leave. The psychological cost of using such far gone and further provoked patients is more than I feel I can handle. May I suggest hanging less people on the far flung theories of a senile Nazi and move towards using a simpler mechanical engine based on measured sperm protein. Okay, so the senile, the far flung theories. Oh, so they are basing everything on, on one of the, the, the German researchers. Who came after the war, right? We we'll definitely suggest harsher chemi chemicals restraints. Markov security killed patient 921 after he overcame enough tranquilizers to put down a hockey team. I'm afraid the hormone therapy is interacting with our chemical restraints in a counterproductive manner. Uh -huh. So we kind of make them resistant to it. I don't have enough knowledge to know if this is uh, if this has anything important. Can you just give me a battery? Oh, oh, I didn't notice that. Okay, okay, okay. Until. Okay, no, there doesn't seem to be any other room here. <laughs> I have a feeling that I'm going to get lost. Okay, there are things I can jump through, so maybe an enemy is going to appear at some point. I didn't think that would open. Is that outside? Yeah. 
I hope I can get out. Um, <laughs> I think I have more chances to get out from the front door than from there at this point. More Fashionic Engine. No, 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 no. This is a more Fashionic Engine. A few lines of mathematics and an algorithm. Reprogram us, turn us into nightmare factors. A few numbers on a dry erase board. Give me a hot cell and a few hours alone with Dr. Wernicke's corpse. I feel I owe him a debt. Yeah, at this point. I wouldn't blame you if you had a... A personal uh, grudge against Dr. Wernicke. Keep switching from Wernicke to Wernicke. I'm sorry. Uh... <laughs> See the, the hallway with the red light at the end, with the music picking up. This is so nice. I mean, it's not nice, but really well made. What is this? Delivery exit. That's where we want to go. Anything here? Nothing? Not even a battery? Okay. Do you again? Hi! Hello? Oh, okay. Okay, so now, you, now you're a bad guy. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Sorry. But... It Wait, he has been chill during all this time, so... Oh no! Okay. Okay. I mean, where do I go though? I don't see anywhere that I could hide. So, maybe I have to just go all the way back. <laughs> Two enemies? Oh. Um. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I would have something to say about that. Death of the soldier. This is the way you die, ripped to pieces from the inside. Watching your marrow scatter on a concrete wall, you have escaped one hell, Chris Walker. God help me, but I somehow hope you fi you didn't find another. Yeah. He, he deserves to rest in peace. Rest in peace, Walker. Hope you have a better life next time. I suppose I need to go back to where the thing was, the wall raider was. For some reason, he appeared there, so yeah. Oh, that was pretty good. Although, I didn't think he was going to kill me. I thought he was just a. He, he was. like always. Because I have had a few moments where I. Oh, so that doesn't open. Doesn't even let me do anything with it. Okay. Because I have kind of uh, seen him right now. I think. Yeah, we have seen him. And he didn't do much. He just appeared, kind of got in my face and then just poof, disappeared. I thought he was going to do the same. So now he's a bad guy and he can kill me. Got it. What is that? I mean, I know what it is, but what? Why would I really need that? Okay, so I must be missing something here. I'm not missing. Maybe something else uh, unlocked or something. 
password. I cannot do anything with it. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> My dog is being not a good girl today. Oh. Okay. Give me a second. Okay. So, um. Billy? He takes care of me. He may think I'm his father. He certainly loves me, poor idiot. Do you know what this symbol represents? It warns of a nano hazard. Microscopic machines. Technology we have had for decades but never mastered. something so strong. You have to stop him to murder Billy. Turn off his life support, his anesthesia. You have to undo what I've done. No one can get out of this place while he lives. You must kill him. Well, that seems very selfish of you. You do whatever you want with these people, and then you're like, Oh, the only way you can actually get out is to kill them. You know, you could just disconnect the oxygen tank, right? It would be slow, but you can certainly achieve that. Uh, uh, well, I suppose mm, Billy is going to be like, nope, and connect it again. I suppose, I don't know. Um, okay, maybe should I... I completely forgot I had I didn't have the camera, so maybe I should have recorded that. Um Okay, that closed. Is this open? Yes it is. Very nice, very nice. Um This opens. Good. Battery this music on the background is... Oh. 
It seems a little like a like a siren going on. Battery, yay! Thank you. Mm. Now, my question is: Is um, the shadow going to be lurking around, or is he going to appear? eat certain places and then chase me that is my question okay so there's a lot of things there but i may just go why does everything open wait there's one of these another one good You're like a tuku 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 on the on the sound. Yeah, I'm not bothering you. Oh no, it's not here. Nothing. Hmm. Okay, let's check this out. Oh. Nothing, nothing. Hi. Okay. That doesn't open. No. What's the point of having this if. Ooh, maybe I can hide here or something. I don't know. We haven't seen any, pla any places to hide though. I mean, I can hide over there, maybe over here. That's about it. Not a, to me, it's not a, as safe as the blockers. Okay. Mm, this? Another one. Uh, can't see anything here. Okay. Ugh. Something there, so mm. Mm -hmm. Mm. more fish any Genshin chambers. Where? Where's the where's the arrow? <laughs> Who's going to see me? It is something there too. Can I just... Oh, this is... <gasps> Where the fuck am I? I don't see anything. Oh, I don't see anything. I don't see anything. Oh, 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 yeah. Okay, so... Where am I? Oh, I am here, okay. So... I look like a person. That's where I came from, right? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I got the battery, right? Mm. Yes, I don't know. This battery I got. I just check everything because I don't I don't want to assume that everything gets saved. 
and it's going to be the same here every single time. There was nothing here, but let's just check it anyways. So, in this case, is it good to just uh, loop? Or is it better to just stick the circuit? Or would it be better to just... Uh, to hide, that's what I wanted to say. So it doesn't matter where I go. Okay. I simply have to go through here. But he catches me. Am I supposed to go somewhere else, maybe? Hmm. This time I spawned... ...differently. Instead of us uh, spawning right next to Warniki. So, if I'm going to be attacked anyways. I know that I cannot go this way. So maybe I have to go back. But you can actually do this. Ah, I see what why that is there. Okay. Let me just check if he can find me for being hidden. I do like the sound of the of this dude. And the fact that the more... I think the, the closer he gets to you, the more blurry you, you see. I should have waited more. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe I just... Now I can actually take two hits. Do I go here? Do I go here? Who's... Who's it? Come on. Ah, oh, come on. Does he trespass that too? I don't know where I am. Oh, is it okay? Lots of monsters. No to old personnel from consultant MM008. Rudolf Wernke. PVNR. Do not worship the swarm, nor allow the delusions of the patients to influence your beliefs. Any sentient being based on this technology will also will be so far superior to us that illusions and godliness will be reasonable. We have always looked into chaos and called it God. We now are blessed with sufficient power that such belief could destroy us. Do not be tempted. Remember that you are scientists. Interesting. Um, two. I don't know where I am. Should I have done something else? What is this? Who the fuck am I? 
This reminds me a lot, of, I don't know why, but it reminds me of Soma. That's such a good game. The Assembler, the Feed Timbers, the Precursor Molecules, Vague Memories of Nanotechnology. Nanotechnology articles I have read online. Probably drunk, probably destructive. Not nearly enough to know how to destroy it, but Billy is the center of it. Find him, kill him, and this. <clears throat> I just have to say, Miles is so far gone that he is convinced by what Warniki said. It's going to bump him, Warniki, at this point. I have to be consciously saying it right. I don't think he deserves that. Uh, okay, nothing else. That was a bad day. Good. Uh, I barely saw that. Huh? Or maybe it shines a little different when you don't have the camera up. Okay, so nothing else. At least here. Uh, turn on the bulb for the life support. Uh Okay, thanks. Billy Hope. From Billy's patients report, he ought to be twenty-three years old. He looks like at least fifty. Of rough, rough road pains scratch deep into what I can see. Killing you will be an act of kindness. Poor man. Yeah, but we are kinder. Hi. Hi. Okay, um, so Billy and then to the left, let's start to the left. So blah, generator. It's just uh, the valve for the life support, the reservoir. Maybe there's an order to this. A second to see what's on this side. Uh. There we go. Okay. I had to go to the right. I need to think. I need to read and I need to think. Okay. Let's go. Saving. Oh no. <laughs> this is going to be one of those where I touch the valve or something and you're just going to... Follow me to the end of the earth. Um, there we go. Nothing there. This makes so much noise. Uh, I have, I have to say, I don't think they want me to be stealthy here. Oh, this is a document. What documents? Modern Prometheus. From the personal records of Dr. Wernicke. Frankenstein or the Modern Prometheus by Marshelli, published anonymously in 1818. Chapter 4, excerpt. Learn from me, if not by my precepts, at least by my example. How dangerous it is, the acquirement of knowledge, and how much happier that modest man that he who aspires to become greater than his nature allows. Good shit. Uh... I mean, it all depends on how you want to become great. Because there are many ways. Like, do you want to be great by being a good person? By doing good things for others? Or do you want to be great by being a piece of shit? Okay, so I suppose I need to run the fuck out of here. Okay, so... Go it off the electro supply. Okay, yeah, now I need to get to the other place. <gasps> Where the fuck am I? I don't remember. Uh, was he here? Yeah, there, 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 there. Okay, 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 okay. Let's go. I can do this. I can do this. Okay, I can do this. This is not the way. That is the way. Okay. This is. The way. This is the sub lab or something. Oh! 
Don't be stuck on the railing. Between this, <laughs> I have learned nothing. I would appreciate if there was no. Um, oh, here, here, eh? Good. I was not expecting him to I mean, not here, but there. I was not expecting him to just be standing. Oh, God. I think was so cool. Let me, let me go back in the middle. Mm. Well, that was an unending stairway. Oh, God. Please find attached the permission to proceed from the patient William Hope. William Hope wasn't wasn't Billy called Billy Hope maybe um uh, fam uh how does he how do you say that family member uh of the work of charitable psychiatry program at the Mount Massive Hospital in Colorado, USA. The form is standard and all relevant lines have been signed. It appears Billy is unaware of his mother's recent guided cardiac arrest. He is submitting to the experiment with the understanding, unfounded, of financial remuneration to his mother and a charitable contribution to her church. Wernick, having read the boy's dream reports, believes he has enormous therapeutic potential. Let me, let me make sure I understand that correctly. They signed, Billy signed the agreement because he thought he was going to be given compensation for his mother without knowing that she was already dead. Wernicke, if you want to die, how about I take care of that? That would be like a great uh, last option for a game. He deserves to. I mean, he. At that point, I think it would be better to just let him live, or without anything, any sort of of. Uh, oh no! I'm going to get chased. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh god! I'm dying. <laughs> Nothing here, right? No. Okay, so... Let's go, let's go. Am I going to get chased? I think I'm going to get chased. There's no way I'm not getting chased. <laughs> Dude! I mean, I mean the... Dude, no, I get disoriented about this. <laughs> My stomach is stunning. I, I just hate it. What do I have to do right now? Uh, life pod? Is it this? What is it? Life pod? Is it here? I believe. I know you don't do it. I know. But this is better for everyone. Please go for it, buddy. I don't hate you. I want to help. 
so we can all have a good time in the afterlife. Okay. And also because I have no other choice. I would love to have a choice. Just save me. I don't know, maybe there is. Uh, do I have to go to this thing? Is that document? I missed the document now! Uh, I don't know. Do I get a chance to read the document on the, <laughs> the table? Hmm. Very, very, please, please, okay. We can do this. Um, you're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. No! Did you just stab me? Oh. Oh. Okay, that, that's not good. That is not good. Get out. Okay, but there's a document. There's the document that I want. There we go. Documents. More for genetic engine chamber precautions. Did you this is what I should have read before? <laughs> and then went to the the other places. More good psychiatric systems, more hypogenic engine chamber maintenance schedule. We are very patient to enjoy the hypogenic engine by help micro-sitated inspection of the vital systems. By vital system 1, the rich oxygenated air fluorocarbon from the life support fluid reservoir must be continually flushed and replaced through the course of the patient's treatment. Know that OP? What is OP? OP also supplies as <laughs> OP. Ah, oxygenated uh, perfluorocarbon. Okay, yeah, OP. Also supplies as anesthetics. Any interruption in supply will sufficiently pain to the will cause sufficient pain to the patient to potentially disrupt the experiment. Vital system two. Electric supply is supplemented and ensured by the sub lab generator. Proper fueling and maintenance of the sub-lab generation should be confirmed hourly. Vital System 3. In the case of catastrophic loss of vital systems 1 and 2, the life pod failsafe will engage, maintaining localized minimum life support functions until technicians can arrive. The seven failsafe will result in the immediate patient termination. Okay. Okay. Or Where do I go though? I went there. I went there. Where do I have to go now? It kind of uh, left me here. Should I go up here or something? <sighs> oh gosh. Come on, Miles. I mean, this situation is not good. That thing, I'm sure, did not. Okay. Oh. Uh. Come on, Miles. Maybe, he, maybe he, maybe he just wants to live a normal life. <laughs> I doubt it. Uh, do we get out and become a menace to society? It could be. Okay. I have my camera. Oh. Oh. Dude, let me record. Oh, this is a cinematic. Okay. I thought I was still working. No. Oh. 
Yeah. Who's pretty obvious? So, that was it. I finally finished it. After years of having it on my library. That was pretty good. It did take me quite a while. I think it took me more than it should have. I actually got lost in a few places, so I lost a lot of time. But I did it. Wow, that's kind of weird for me to finish a a horror game. Um, and generally, I either I get too scared and I don't, and I don't continue them, or I think the game froze. <laughs> it's just there forever in a loading screen. <laughs> okay, just leave it there. <laughs> um. It was really good. Uh, I personally liked it. Uh, I enjoyed it quite a lot. Although at the end it was kind of like too much of the same for me. Um, enemies were... I was getting familiar with the enemies. They were already kind of the same all the time. So... Uh, even the... The change from the uh, from Walker and from K Chris Walker and everyone else that was kind of chasing me throughout the game, and the twins and everything. I don't know if they are twins. I just call them the twins. Um, for example, when you change from them to the World Rider, I thought that maybe there was something different, uh, but but there wasn't. It wasn't like I couldn't uh, escape or hide from the world rider uh, i thought maybe i had to loop it but when i hide and i hid it it was kind of okay yeah that's what i need to do he doesn't see me here um but i thought maybe he could uh trespass like the floor that would have been pretty interesting maybe changing up a bit the mechanic uh but it didn't which is kind of weird uh so it was but the enemies were scary at first, and then it was like, uh, I don't really feel the, that they are that scary uh, anymore. And this loading screen is going to be here for a while, I think. <laughs> um, I'll just do... I'll just keep it there on the background. <laughs> what else? What else? Sound design? Loved it. There were so many times where I where I was hearing things like they were in my room. I really enjoyed that. Um, then history is a history uh, story story wise, pretty good. Loved reading the documents. Uh, loved uh, having to discover the story by the environment and stuff. But the ending kind of I mean it's not a bad ending or anything, but. But well, it's certainly not a good ending for Miles, but uh, the fact that we go through everything and he just dies, kind of, I mean, yeah, he, he kind of dies, yeah. Uh, that's, that's kind of bad. I mean, it was good, a good game. It would have been nice to just get out. It would be interesting if we just got out and with the world rider with us. And then kind of like an open ending of you are actually uh, trying to to show everyone what Mark of Corp was doing, but at the same time, you were also being a danger to society by taking it out with you. Uh, that would have been pretty nice. Uh, also, I just remembered the the DLC, the whistleblower. I think it's a DLC. Uh, I might do it. 
at some point. Uh, I might leave it for later. I'm not going to do like a lesson right away. Whistleblower. Maybe I'll wait a little bit. Uh, I don't know how long it is. Um, it will depend on that too. If it's like the same length as the main game, it's going to be a bit difficult, but yeah. Uh, because maybe it's too much of the same. I don't know if there's any new mechanics there. Um, not that difficult of a game with the puzzle, pu puzzles and with quotation marks. Um, I think it was a bit too repetitive, maybe with the valves and stuff. Every time I had to just go and activate three levers or turn two valves, I was like, oh, again. And then at the end, to get uh, to kill Billy, you need to go to two different places, which I was almost not paying attention enough, and I was going to go the wrong way, which would have just made no sense because it's not going to let me do anything, most likely. So, yeah. I mean, I don't think it was too difficult nor too easy. The only thing I found difficult was the battery usage. I am playing in normal and I was using way too much batteries but that also may be because of my monitor. Maybe I don't have enough, enough brightness like at all so I could not see anything. Um, so maybe that's my fault but apart from that I think it was pretty, pretty, pretty easy, pretty fun. Um, if you're a person that doesn't get disoriented, then great. I get disoriented all the time. I don't know where I'm going, so that's why I lost so much time for it. Trying to know where I was. I don't have much more to say about it. Aside from, it was fun. I enjoyed it. Yeah, didn't get scared. Of that much at the end. It was just some jump scares that were like, boo, in your face. And of course, I'm going to get scared by that. <laughs> but then it would just be good fun, good times. Okay, so that will be all. This is the final video for Atlas. This is still loading. <laughs> I'll see if it's saved. Uh, if, if it's saved well afterwards. Uh, but yeah, that will be the end of it. Finally finished it enjoyed it a lot so i'll see what else i can what else i can play maybe i'll do the dlc in maybe a few weeks time or something so goodbye bye bye